In this video, I am going to show you how to use the Z-Test function in Google Sheets. What the Z-Test function does is it will return the one-tailed p-value of a Z-Test with standard distribution. So this is the basic syntax of the Z-Test function. The first argument, data, is the array or range that contains your data. The next argument is value which is the test statistic to use in the z-test and the last argument is optional this is your standard deviation you can either provide a standard standard deviation here within the function or you can leave it blank and it will be calculated for you so i'm just going to use this function on this data so here's my data this is my value and I do have my standard deviation already in here, but again, you can leave that out of the function and it will calculate it for you. So using ztest, once you have all your data, is pretty easy. z.test, and then I'm gonna press tab on my keyboard to enter the function. So the first argument is my data range, and then comma, and then my value, comma, standard deviation, closing parentheses and then press enter on your keyboard and the function will calculate. So this is the p-value 0.907 for this data set. So again, it's a pretty easy function to use because there's only these three basic arguments, your data, your value, and your standard deviation. And I will show you using it without providing the standard deviation. So it's going to, to calculate it uh, by coming up with its own standard deviation and it may differ a little bit but the number should still be pretty close so z dot test and i'll provide the data and the value and this time i'll leave the standard deviation out and you can see it is very close uh, but it is a little bit different because the way it's calculating standard deviation it's going to be a little bit different but that is it for this video. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.